guys, welcome back to Joe and Liz Travel. Uh, we're on a tuk tuk in, in Cambodia. In Cambodia, been on heaps of them. I just haven't been on the GoPro lately, just absorbing everything in. Uh, we're off to watch Avatar at the movies uh, at the Aeon Mall. Um, and maybe play Timbin Bowling beforehand. Yeah. Yeah, so we went to the mall earlier on today. It was huge. So many stores there. Um, we had breakfast there as well, which is, I don't know, I think I spent like $2 for breakfast and got like three different items. Uh, the only thing we actually bought from the thing was some toothpaste. That's it. But it was a, it was a good experience. But I bought two soccer shirts from another Adidas store. So I've been spending quite a bit of money, but they were actually on sale and had 70 to 80% off. I to show that. And this is what the traffic's like in uh, Cambodia on a tuk-tuk. We'll try and show you from behind. Yeah, it's quite quiet now, but I was too busy talking to myself and not showing the traffic. Pretty cool. Yeah, Cambodia is an awesome place. So, uh, last night me and Liz went to Naga World 2. Which is up there. You can see the big gold building. Yeah, just up, up there. there. Naga World 2 is Naga just World a... Two, yeah. And it's uh, like a motel. And it's got a casino inside it. Oh, take a photo of these guys with their machine guns. Oh, yeah, there's a few more tuk-tuks. And the machine gun people. And, yep, yeah, if we're quick enough, we can get the machine gun people, but... Yeah. Yeah, over there. But I'm holding on to this GoPro quite tightly as well because uh, I don't want it, someone to swipe it out of my hands. Yeah, she's pretty busy here. This is pretty cool. But if you're in Cambodia, best way to get around is to get. To get a one to four seater, if there's three of you, get a one to four seater tuk tuk. With a motorbike. Yeah, so the guy in the front's got a motorbike and he's traveling us around. God, they look quite menacing, eh? Yeah. So in Vietnam, I don't think I've seen any tuk tuks at all. But in Cambodia, there's heaps of them. Best way to get grab around here in Cambodia is on a tuk-tuk. Where in Vietnam, you ever get a car, or if you're gain enough, get a motorbike. Yeah, that was fun. That's if you really want to experience grab at its best. Look, this must be like a... Um... Look at this over here. We'll back in later. Peace out. Okay, guys, we've just arrived from our tuk tuk driver to the Aeon Mall, which we this is the place we were here earlier on today. Uh, it's crazy in there, but I think we've got to go up to the third level, maybe the fourth, to go and watch our movie Avatar, which starts at seven o'clock. So we're early, I think it's like quarter to six maybe enough time to play these ladies in some temp and bowling <laughs> and we're out enjoy hey guys this is the Aeon Moor now uh, this is our last day in uh, Phnom Penh or Phnom Penh or I think that's how you say it I'm not too sure um, so we've got a six hour bus ride to Siem Reap tomorrow so um, don't know what it's going to be like, but we've decided to get us some bakery food so we've got food for us for the rest of the day. So we've come to this bakery here. We top up on heaps of food. Yeah, for the bus tomorrow, we're going to take a bus. It's going to be about 
six or seven hours on the bus. So, uh, we're just going to head off to the supermarket from here as well and probably get us some juices and be prepared. And then probably up to the movies. These sandwiches are only a dollar. Oh. So, we spent about seven dollars US on our food, roughly. And we've, and we've got heaps. This place is massive. Okay guys, I'll just show you a, a few things of how the prices work uh, in Cambodia. So if you look at, say, uh, these chisel chips over here. So it has a dollar seventy-five US. So, but you can also use 7,200 real. Or you can mix it up. So if you've only got a dollar US, and then you've got to make up the rest of it in real, so it gets a little bit confusing a little bit confusing when you try and work out money here but I seem to work it out for everybody because I'm on <laughs> and I'm just dumb <laughs> and Cal always just has dumb. problems <laughs> so this is just the lines in, uh, at the market I don't know if I'm allowed to use the GoPro here but I'm all good People are pretty friendly here in Cambodia. Just like uh, being at uh, Pack and Save in or New World in New Zealand. There's just a few of the stores. I mean this is sort of like farmers, like a farmers area part of this mall. Hey guys. So we went one level too high, so we got a bit lost. Well, this uh this wall is pretty huge so um we're actually at where most food places are like this place here like the black cannon they have all this kind of stuff like here they also have like stuff like kfc uh carl's juniors burger king i haven't seen a mcdonald's yet the ladies in front doing their stuff there's a spacey arcade Maybe I might go and have a jam in there later. Try to win some more tokens like I did in Pukok Island. Oh, see there's Burger King. But we're heading off to the cinemas. Go and book our ticket. Hopefully it's not sold out. And hopefully we don't have to listen to it in Vietnamese. We can get it in English. Yeah, but I'll wait. We've already been up here and had a look at it before. So, uh, I'll show what it looks like in the cinema. It's pretty cool. It's pretty flash. I've been a few flash cinemas before, but yeah, this is sort of up there. It's pretty flash. So, yeah, this is what the cinema looks like. Massive TVs out here. Rough. These ladies are off to go and book the tickets. There's a bowling place that I was telling you about. Hopefully we can get one of those in. Yeah. Pop back in there. So uh, we decided to get dinner at Burger King. Um, I already had a burger at the motel. And um, I thought I'd bugger it, I'll just have something else to eat. We need more burgers. Uh, just a little tip for you guys that are watching. Make sure when you come over to Cambodia, if you're getting money, American money out, make sure you check it before you go. If it's got a little tear in it, if it's got writing on it, they check the American notes hard out. But if and it's they not, decline them. If it's not good enough, they will not take it. So if you're getting money out from say Australia or New Zealand and before you come over, stay there, check your money out and if there's anything wrong, just a little split or anything, go back into that bank and get them to change it and just tell them Cambodia will not take that money. Just a little tip. Now we wait for our, Mc oh, not McDonald's, Burger King and we'll have a month. And then we go and watch Avatar. 
in Cambodia. Probably the only people in the cinema because everybody else won't be able to understand it. In the English, <laughs> peace out.